What is up everybody, Moritz here from Sectionster once again, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can get this image gallery with this little parallax effect for your very own Shopify store. You can customize all the position of the images and also change the ratio of every single one of them, and I'm going to show you how you can do that in a few easy steps. The first thing I did for this was that I added an over to the Shopify app store where I did get the section store app. Section store is a component library with 200 fully customizable components, Shopify exclusive. And the next thing I did for it was that I headed on over to the explore sections area where I found the image gallery two section. This one does come with a one-time charge of $9, but like I said already, the whole thing is customizable and it's no subscription or whatsoever. So that means if you bought it once, you'll own it forever as well. So yeah, I think those are a couple of really good benefits of that and also really small money considering that it's really going to increase the look of your store. And before we can actually use it, we have to add it to the theme we're using. In my case, it's the Dawn Live theme and then simply just open up the theme editor you're using. Every single one of them works, so you don't have to worry about that. We might sure that is going to be the case. That's a little example I built already and I will show you from scratch how I did this. So I'll just save it up real quick and add another one. So here I click on section, type in image gallery, and that is the one we are going to be using. And you're gonna find yourself with a nice little default version of it already. We're just gonna go with four. So let's just chug in some content into those blocks. And here we can also decide where they're going to be positioned. So here I add a little horizontal shift, same goes for Malwa. The whole thing is fully responsive, as you can see right here. And you can even decide if it's going to be hidden on mobile or not. If I would click it here, it's not going to show. So that is another thing you can do on that whole thing. And you can change the set index as well. If I would put three here, you can see in a second, hopefully, that it would get shifted above that one because it has a higher set index now. So yeah, let me just fill that one with content real quick and I'll see you in a second. All right. Here we are back once again. But one thing you can see right now is that they're getting stuck up there after I saved it up. And that is because the parallax effect is activated at the moment. And I would like to not have that in this case because I adjusted them just like that. And with the parallax, you have to do some extra justifications so it all gets in the right position. But yeah, this is the main block itself. I would like to show you. We could add a heading right here and also add some margin to that. So right now we want a bit more line height and we can also set it to the left here or to the right or wherever we want to have it positioned. And here we can do the margin top. And yeah, that is looking good already, I think. And the last thing I would like to do is basically to round it all up, show you some margins you can do to that whole thing, some paddings as well. So this is giving the whole thing a bit more space and also the lazy load is activated. Let's just save it all up and have a look at it in the live version. And another nice little trick you can do is to just add another image gallery underneath that one. So just select the same block again and like that, you can just stack them. Oh, that was the wrong one, sorry for that. Let me just fix that. Image gallery two, that is the one. And here they can get combined and with the positioning of the blocks, you can make it look really smooth. And also there's gonna be no evidence of a transition or whatsoever. So that is one nice little trick I wanted to give you along the way. Let's just delete that and have a look at it in the live version, save it up real quick. Scroll all the way down and we should find ourselves with this nice little image gallery i just did in under five minutes and yeah hope you guys come up with nice ideas as well how to use this section and if there are any questions always feel free to reach out to me in the comment section with that being said have a good one and peace out